Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Rohan, otherwise known as the Roshank Remption, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to get what is definitely one of, and in my personal opinion, the best weapon in Fallout 4, and the weapon that I'm talking about is the Gamma Gun. Now to get the Gamma Gun, the first thing you're going to want to do is to navigate to a place called Hugo's Hole. And Hugo's Hole is located in the northeastern part of the Commonwealth. If you pretty much head straight east from Vault 111 for a very long time, and just a little bit south, then you will reach Hugo's Hole eventually. And then once you arrive at Hugo's Hole, you're going to want to pick up a specific piece of equipment that will protect you from high levels of radiation. And the reason we need this is that the place we're going to pick up the Gamma Gun is called the Glowing Sea. And the Glowing Sea is filled with ridiculously high levels of radiation. So without the Hazmat suit, which is the piece of equipment that we're going to pick up here, we really cannot survive in the Glowing Sea. So you're going to want to navigate your way through Hugo's Hole, which is not very big, and go and pick up the Hazmat suit, which is right here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show that off in a second for you guys. But basically, it provides you with a crack ton of radiation resistance and this is going to be essential when we go into the glowing sea to pick up the gamma gun. Okay, then once you pick up that radiation protection suit, you need to navigate your way to the very bottom left corner of the Commonwealth to a place called a Decayed Reactor Site, and this is where the Gamma Gun will be found. You can get here by going directly south and just a little bit west of Vault 111, and if you just keep going down for a very long time, then you will eventually reach there. Once you arrive at the Decayed Reactor site, make sure that you're super careful because there's actually going to be a Death Claw here. And for my character at level 1, a Death Claw was just not something I could handle. And I tried sneaking past it, I tried everything, and eventually I just gave up and decided to just book it in there, grab the Gamma Gun, and just run out as fast as I could. And surprisingly, that actually worked out. Uh, but yeah, there's the Gamma Gun. Make sure you pick up the ammo for it too because without the ammo, you won't be able to do anything. Unfortunately, there isn't really that much ammo uh, on the body, but it is a very rare weapon, so ammo is uh, naturally going to be very hard to find. And as you guys can see from my Pip-Boy screen here, I am currently at level 1, which means that you can pretty much get your hands on the Gamma Gun the very second that you exit from Vault 111. And granted, it will be very tough because this southwestern corner of the Commonwealth is just littered with super high level enemies like Death Claws and stuff of that nature, and it's also got a ton of radiation. But if you really want to, you can pick up one of the best weapons in the game at level 1, which I think is very cool. I do as well get to test out the Gamma Gun and a couple of Blood Bugs here, and it just absolutely annihilates them. This weapon is a freaking monster. This weapon is an absolute beast, and I definitely recommend picking it up because it is one of the cooler additions to Fallout 4 if you ask me. Alright, and there you have it folks, the Gamma Gun. It does a total of 110 points of radiation damage, which is absolutely ridiculous. And the scariest thing is that this weapon has no modifications currently, and you can modify it. You can modify every single weapon to Fallout 4, so if you wanted to, you could make this weapon even better, which is honestly a scary thought because it's already incredibly good. But anyways guys, that is pretty much going to do it for this video, and just one more point here before ending things off. I did put quite a bit of time into fighting this weapon and making this video tutorial for you guys, so if you guys could drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Fallout 4 content, then it would really help me out and I would really appreciate it. Otherwise, I hope you all have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.